Welcome to your flipped video lesson today. Those of you that have done this in the past, I will tell you I'm trying to limit my all rights to like three or four. You guys can tell me how I did. And those of you that are just taking it or doing a flipped video for the first time, you'll have some fun with it. And it's probably the shortest math lesson you'll have. I do need to set my stopwatch because I can't go over 10 minutes. Um, so it's a short math lesson too. You should have to do this a pen or pencil to take notes. Your notes that I gave you in class today, compatible numbers, and I think that's all you need. If you look, this is a lesson that you are going to need for tomorrow's lesson on estimation. For those of you that I had last year, it's a review. For some of you, this might need, be new material, but it's pretty easy. If you read along with your notes, it says compatible numbers, numbers that can be divided mentally without a remainder. Box that, please. Now, these are just some examples. If you'll notice, um, there's no division sign in between because I forgot to write it before I made copies. So you're going to have to write the division sign in for me. So 27 divided by 9, it's compatible, it's 3. 16 divided by 4 is compatible, it's 4. 21 divided by 7 is compatible, it's 3. This is one of those reasons I really need you to know your math facts so you can think, oh, is a number compatible or not? All right, now it works with bigger numbers too, which is awesome. So if you look, you can take 27, and you know that 27 is compatible with 9. Awesome, it's 3. But anytime you add a place value or a power of 10 to it, it's also compatible. So if you look at this, we still have 27 divided by 9. We know that that's 3, and then there's one extra 0 here. So to hold your place value, you have to bring the 0 over, and it's 30. Then you have 27 again divided by 9. You know it's compatible. You know the answer is 3. But then, if you look, you have two zeros. So you have to hold your place value by 2. That would be, give you 300. Last but not least, we have 27,000. Once again, if you look at the 27, you know it's compatible by three or by 9 three times. And then if you look, you have 1, 2, 3 place values to hold. So that's 3,000. Pretty easy, huh? All right, let's look and see how we can use it with numbers that don't end in zero. So if you look, we're now on the second half of your notes. It says estimating with compatible numbers, and I'm giving you steps. Step one is you find the first nine multiples of the divisor. Now, if you don't know your math facts, you're going to have to write these out. The multiples are the, when you multiply them out. For example, 9 would be 9, 18, 27, 36, 45. If you know your math facts really well, it's great. You don't have to write them out. Step two says underline the first number the divisor can go into. We'll look at that in just a minute. Step three is, says find a compatible number from your multiple list of nine or from the multiples that you know in your head. You can cross out the closest without going over. That's only when we're talking about division sometimes, and that's when we're not estimating. That's when we're actually trying to find the actual answer. And then number four is you're going to add your zeros to hold the place value. Now let me show you what that looks like. We're going to do the examples on your notes. You'll notice the first example says 37,843 divided by 9. Well, I know my multiples of 9, so I am not going to write them out. If you don't know them, write them out. 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81. Then I've got to find the first number my 9 can go into. Well, 9 cannot go into 3. That's not going to work. 9 can go into 37. If I think about my multiples, 9, 18, 27, 36, that's really my closest number. So I know it goes into it four times. But I'm not done yet because I still have to hold my place value. This is in the 10,000 spot. It's not going to be one. So I'm going to look at how many numbers I have not underlined. There's three of them, so I need to hold three place values, which makes this 4,000. Easy, huh? Let's look at the next one, 523 divided by 4. All right, I know my multiples of 4, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. If you don't know them, write them down. Now, I have to look. My second step says I'm knowing the first number the divisor can go into. Well, in this case, if I look at the 5, 4 does fit into 5. 5 is bigger than 4. That works. 4, the, the multiple closest to 5 without going over is 1. But 4 times 1 is 4, and this is 523. So once again, I have to think about my place value. All right, I've got two more digits, which means I have two place values I need to hold. So a good estimate would be about 400, or about 100, excuse me. 
let's go on. All right, if we look at our notes and I say, huh, first, nine, first nine multiples of three, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. If you don't know it, write it down. Then look at the first thing that goes into it. It does go into six and it goes into six two times, pretty easy. Then if you look, I have one, two, three place values to hold. So 6,243 divided by three is about 2,000. You're doing great, we're almost done. If I'm gonna look at 7,342 divided by eight, eight does not go into seven. And I know my eights, if you don't, please write them down. Eight does go into 73. Because I know my eights so well, I know that the closest compatible number is 72, and that's eight times nine. So I'm gonna write the nine down. Nine times eight is 72, 72 is very close to 73. And then I need to hold, if you look at it this time, two place values. So it's about 900. You're doing great, keep it up. If you need to pause and go back and look at something, please do so. All right, 345 divided by two. Two, or I'm gonna look at the three, because two does go into three. It goes into it one time. I have two place values to hold, so it's about 100. Six, or 22,911 divided by six. Six does not go into two, but it will go into 22. Because I know my six is six, 12, 18, 24. If you think 22 is really close between 18 and 24, it's probably closer to 24, so I'm gonna go with that. And I'm gonna put four, because six times four is 24. That's very close to 22. Then I'm gonna hold one, two, three place values. So the answer is going to be somewhere right around 4,000. All right, two left, two left, you're doing great. I'm going to look at 6,793 divided by seven. Seven does not go into six, because six is smaller than seven. It does go into 67. Um, I think it goes in about nine times. 10 might be a better estimate, because nine times seven is 63, and 10 times seven is 70, so maybe I will do 10. Then I have to look, I have two place values to hold. So it's about a thousand. Last but not least, I have 142,972 divided by seven. If I look at my notes, I think about my multiples of seven. Seven will not fit into one. Seven will fit into 14. And it's evenly, it's compatible already. 14 divided by seven is two. And then I need to hold one, two, three, four place values, which gives me about 20,000. Now, if you didn't understand something, I want you to go back and review. Um, if you did understand it, I want you to take your notes. I want you to flip them over. Then on the back, I want you to draw four boxes, and these are your practice ones which I will check tomorrow when we get to school. 35,983 divided by four, 9,876 divided by three, 497 divided by eight, and 5,583 divided by seven. Go back, work three or four steps. I know you can do it. If you get confused, rewatch the first part of the video, and I can't wait to see how well you do tomorrow. Take care.